So here I am again, Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. I'm back because I have a beautiful pan of colors over here on my silicone cookie tray, which I mentioned before, but if you're new, you don't know, is available on the internet and you can ask me for a link. So the last time my paint was too thick. So this time I'm going to try and be fast and catch, catch my paint with using excuse me, by using my OXO omelet turning spatula that is available on the Amazon link right under the video near the Teespring clothing that you can see the stuff I just created. Even if it's only one t-shirt, if you click on the t-shirt, it'll take you to my store. And uh, there's awesome leggings there. I recommend that very highly. So I just did something very cool, which was black and white to start. But the paint was so heavy that it became an instant problem with me using any of my little stamping tools, of which I have, you know, a few here and there. And uh, I wanted to use this ice tray to dip into those colors, and I'm still intending on doing it. But I'm afraid that if it's the paint on the canvas is too heavy, which is, you know, it's a got to work fast or uh, it won't work type deal. But I want some white paint, and it, fortunately it's cooler here today and it's not going to dry too fast. Usually the spatula spreads things really fast, but um, I'm going to take this ice tray and just for... You know what? I'm going to do something else entirely. These are trivets. I found those at... Uh, <laughs> I found those at Hobby Lobby, and I'm going to just do that the first time because I can. I'm going to dip it right into my tray and let it drop. Yes, and that's what I was hoping for. And let's do that and just drop it. Don't place it down because I should probably add some tape because <laughs> I'm getting slippery fingers. Add a, a loop of tape in the center, assuming it would hold. That's an assumption. <laughs> I can't necessarily make. I'm going to let that rest there. This is in fun. This is these are dips in fun, and that's this is me finding out what things I've bought if they have value or not. I imagine. Whoops. I imagine they'd be pretty cool. Hey, embrace your accidents. I could probably even drag this around a little if I wanted to try that, but I'm not unhappy with any of that so far. Why not be different? <laughs> I've got a lot of paint someplace. Okay, I'm done with that. It's going in the bucket. Now I also have this candy tray, and I really want to try that, but I don't know if this is the right time or not. Um, I was loving this little contraption, which is a packaging off of something which, darn, I wish I could remember, but um, it creates some really, really cool patterns. And so this is all dips, but it's up to you to design it however you want, and I'm still not done with stars. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it bottom down and see what happens. I'm going to do it on the thin part of this paint, hopefully. Where's it going to go? Little tap. Yes, and we have dots. Ha ha ha! I like that. That's cool try and get them at the same evenness. Yes, we have dots. This might be really fast. I don't know if dots will continue to be a cool thing or not. But um, I'm enjoying it. I'm going to float that right in my pan of water. I think I'm going to do one or two more of these little fun little whatever they are, packaging which I know is not fair, but I do I do know that these will also work. So I'm going to use the fat side down the cookie cutters. And those are fun to do. Don't cut yourself. And why not try some fun things? It's 
it's not really stamping, but it is sort of stamping also. At the rate I'm going, I'm not going to be able to use up that pan of color very easily. I'm going to go to a next size and see what happens. There's, they're graduated. They're in the cake section of Michael's. So I've got dots and squares, and I think I want some stars. Because I can. And I'm that way. And I'm not sure how many of those I can do. But I seem to be picking up paint from other places, and that's okay with me. I'm going to throw that in the bucket as well. And bring back my little one, because I like that up here. Pick some blue. I like being able to pick my colors that I work with, and that's why I use things like the silicone cookie sheet, which I was trying to say before, you can ask me for the link. Somebody gave me a link. They make Swiss rolls. I found it at church consignment, church, church resale shop. So um, anytime you're shopping, you're doing charitable work, and you're also providing yourself with some stuff. Now, the reason I did this thin layer of white to begin with was so I could do some stars find out if I can. Still not really doing stars, but I am picking up color. I, oh, there's one. I am picking up color that I like. And uh, that's cool. I'm, o I'm okay with that. I better wash it off or I'm going to have brown before I know it. Yeah, I'm not unhappy. This, the thinner layer of white, or the thinner layer of wet paint be behind, if you're in a correct environment, is, um, is the one to go for. I'm thinking that I might want to take my uh, my candy my candy dish and sort of temporarily try and dry off some of it and grab a couple more. I don't know if I can do this. Can I get away with it? I don't know. I'm going to fold it in half so I only have... Can I do that? I don't know if I can do that either. Well, I'm going to try and go for just three. One, and one, and that's cool, and maybe, maybe a few here and there, because I can. What else? What else do I want to do? I wonder if I have any stars that are smaller stars than those stars. I have, I did buy cookie cutters. I was watching, um... Miriam's Nature, and I saw her use the stars, and I was enamored. So I got myself a set, which I have not used yet. But uh, this is very graphic, and I like it a lot. I don't know what else it needs. I don't think it needs a ton of anything. I don't even know that it needs torching, but um, I'm going to give it some anyway. We torch to release bubbles caught in the paint, and to release cells that are created in patterns because there is paint pouring medium in the paint mixed in. And in my case it can be Floetrol and also Deco Art pouring medium because I found some on sale and I was happy about that. Looks like I'm trying to set my canvas on fire. <laughs> I better not do that. Um, I kind of want something over here and I'm not sure what I want to do about that. Maybe grab some pink. To put just one more star down. Just one more, right? <laughs> Don't ever believe me when I say I'm done. All right, so I like this down here. Do I want to do anything to it is the question. I want to grab a little bit of paint. So if your star doesn't come out and you have a star stamp, feel free to cheat, you know? You can make it into something else. You've got to be a little careful of making brown. It's not unreasonable to think that could happen. So, that's it. Check out at the bottom of my video description under show more for links to Instagram and Pinterest and two volumes of Facebook albums showing the wet and dry artworks. There's a place, Patreon and PayPal, that if you donate you can be entered in a contest right now to have a choice of one of three paintings beginning of December. On the 8th I will announce that. 
That's bugging me. I want some more of that color right there. Yep, now that's better. I'm happier. I've got all kinds of colors, so if after you're gone I want to lead colors down over the edge to make it look cohesive, I may paint my edges white and, uh, and, and add a few lines and stuff, but uh, for right now, am I happy? <laughs> Don't ask me that right now. Maybe just one more. And remember, you can do that yourself with, with the cookie cutters. You don't need my, my tool. But keep your eye out for packaging. I want to thank all my contributors. That might have been one too many. For keeping me painting. And everybody who comments. And please thumbs up my artwork. Uh, my videos. Because it helps me immensely. And I appreciate it so much. So, that was pretty simple. But we're done for now. This is Priscilla in Spring Hill, Florida dipping stuff into paint and saying, I love you guys. Come again. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.